Welcome to the hottest celebrity blog on the internet, The A-List. I am your host, the Major of Magic, Wes Troop. And there are 18 different animals in the Animal Cracker Zoo. Strange but true. Alright, let's open up this week by talking about the Teen Choice Awards. Ooh, la di da. Well, guess what? The winner, and of course the big winners from the Teen Choice Awards with over 11 wins, Twilight. Oh, somebody kill me, please! Anyway, Twilight walked away with a bunch of different awards, but uh, of course that's the Teen Choice Awards. Hey, uh, hey, Twilight, where's your Oscar? Ooh, you won't get one. Anyway, speaking of Twilight, new pictures have arrived. So you know what time that means. It's ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, as if we didn't have enough nude pictures last week of Vanessa Hudgens, uh, this week we have pictures, nude pictures I should say, of Ashley Green from Twilight who plays Alice Cullen, for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, yeah, she shows off everything. By the way, she shaves. And, uh, these nude pics, like Vanessa Hudgens, uh, was taken off probably like half a day after they were posted. So, uh, I don't, I don't get why these, uh, girls are taking nude pictures and not expecting them to make it to the internet. I don't know. Anyway, back to, uh, the Teen Choice Awards. Miley Cyrus did something that we could only talk about as a slutty pole dance. I wonder if she, uh, Dedicated it to her stalker to tease him in jail. Hey, look what you're missing out on, buddy. I'd do you, but you're in jail. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. Let's just keep going. Speaking of strippers, we've learned that G.I. Joe star Channing Tatum formerly was a stripper back in the day. And you know what? The A list has exclusive footage of Channing Tatum as a stripper. Let's roll it for the ladies and some of these guys. Big Dick Johnson. Wow, that was a, uh, he must have lost a lot of weight and gained some muscle before he uh, made it big in Hollywood. What can you say, right? All right, Heidi Montag, or I guess she's Heidi Pratt now, her uh, Playboy came out this week. And let me just say to everyone, don't waste your money because she don't show her boobs. She has her hands on them. It's, it is the biggest cop-out for Playboy I've ever seen. Don't waste your time. Heidi Pratt, let's put it this way. The movie The Goods comes out this week. Heidi Pratt would no longer be able to be in that movie because she don't show you the goods. You get what I'm saying? All right. I beat that like a dead horse. Anyway, next up, let's talk about some baby news. <laughs> How wonderful, kids. Anyway, to everyone's surprise, except for mine, because I don't doubt this family, Kourtney Kardashian is pregnant, and she was very surprised. Well, when you're a slut, I wouldn't be surprised if anyone gets pregnant. So, uh, 
Kourtney Kardashian, I don't, I don't doubt it. Uh, I think she's on that new show with the big Kardashian girl, which, uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. Their, uh, new show. And now that Kourtney is pregnant. And also, Sarah Chalk is going to have, well, I guess she's, we didn't know she's pregnant, but I guess now we know she is. She's going to have a winter baby. Sarah Chalk from Scrubs and Roseanne. And now for some uh, wedding news. Love and marriage, love and marriage. All right. Anna Faris has married her actor boyfriend, Chris Pratt. Please don't tell me he's related to Spencer and Heidi. I don't know who he is. I never even heard of him. Maybe I'll have to IMDB him. Maybe I better do that. Hold on one sec. Oh, he was in Wanted and Bride Wars. No wonder I never heard of him, because those are two classics. Anyway, on Michael Jackson will be headed to the big screen. His final concerts will be out the weekend, Halloween weekend. And uh, that should take in a lot of moolah, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't mind going to see it. It should be interesting. Let's just hope um, these concerts are a lot better than the last movie he made, if you remember. The art will sell for 40 days and 40 nights. You must stop it. But why? It's our only way off the island. You have to stop it, Mike. The best thing to do... That was the classic film of Miss Castaway. Very interesting film. I have to watch it yet, but I've heard about it. Uh, in News of the Weird, there was a talk of Lady Gaga in a magazine, and she says she is a hermaphrodite. Show me your genitals. Your genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Genitalia! Um, anyway, it's just a rumor now. She might have just been fooling around with it and making fun, but... She could be a uh, hermaphrodite, ha ha hermaphrodite, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, it's time for your favorite time of the week and mine. The box office prediction. The B O P. All right. Last week, I said G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, would be the number one movie in America, and I was correctamundo. And, by the way, my movie reviews are going to be up, so G.I. Joe should be up there, and this week's, which I already saw, this week's number one prediction is going to be District 9. District 9 is one hell of a ride. That's all I got to say. You all go see it. You'll all like it. Anyway. All right, peeps. Till next week, troop out. Here's a special message from Megan Fox. Hi, hi, I'm actress Megan Fox. Every year, thousands of kids enter our high school succumbing to terrible peer pressure. Let's face it, high school can be tough. And kids can be cruel. Picking on others for just being different. Well, I say fuck them. Because they don't know shit. What really matters is being yourself, and if that includes slowly killing than eating every boy at your school, well then I say do it, because nothing is more important than just being who you are.